Hello, this is David Yee. Today I am going to try to make a uh, tap out of a uh, Acme threaded rod. Now I want to try to buy a uh, Acme tap, but it was way too expensive. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to convert this Acme threaded rod into a tap. So first I'm going to cut this uh, whole rod using a miter saw and a uh, cutoff blade. Plenty of sparks. Once the machine is done, I get this cut to length. Okay, so this is uh, just a handheld belt sander. I put a very fine grit sanding belt on it, and it's on this little base that I made a long time ago from an instructable. Now, here's the before. Uh, hard to focus, but you can tell that you know it's, it's not very clean, and uh, we'll see if we can improve that. Okay, so now after a bit of sanding, it's uh, pretty smooth and no more uh, rough edges and I'll probably test this on one of the actual nuts that I bought to make sure it still fits. All right, now I'm set up here with my vise and I have my Dremel with a, another cutoff tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a little bit of paper around the uh, rod that I just cleaned up. And I'm just going to tighten it into this vise. Just so it can't get out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the uh, threaded rod. I'm going to cut a channel straight across on both sides of this. Um, I'm not sure how many... Uh, how many of these I want to cut, but probably uh, three. Alright, so I'm just going to keep this on a low speed, I'm just going to cut straight through. Okay, so <clears throat> at this point I've cut a very large channel for any uh, material to come out but at the cost of a uh, whole cutoff wheel, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, when I was cutting this part here, I had it tilted at a slight angle. I think you're supposed to have a couple degrees on the rake in order to help remove material. Hopefully I've cut this deep enough and uh, I've cut it to about an inch and a half because I think that's about the... Uh, the size of a coupler I want to make. Alright, so I'm going to rotate this 180 and uh, perform the same thing on the other side. So that's both sides. Um, let me give you a nice view from the side what that really looks like. So pretty much this channel, ah, still hot. So this channel that I've just cut is where all the scrap material is going to be removed. Um, because this is a right hand thread, the uh, rake on this side is kind of cutting at a little bit of an angle. And it's going to be the part that scrapes away all the material in the uh, hole in order to thread it. And um, right now this is still very, very hot. So uh, don't touch it with your bare hands. Just rotate it over here. You can see I have the identical thing on the other side. Although this one's fairly, fairly ugly. Okay, um, so now pretty much if you look at this piece on the 
opposite side, it's still kind of round, so I wouldn't be able to grip it very well if I wanted to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this thing uh, against a uh, bench grinder, and I'm going to grind it so it's more square. Okay, so now if you look at it from the uh, side, you can see it's it's more square than it was before. And this will make it easier to uh, install on a vise. Okay, so this is the finished homemade tap. Um, from the top you can kind of see how I had cut the, uh, the left and the right out. And because this is a right hand thread, it actually turns in this way clockwise from this view. Um, what you have to do is you have to make sure that this edge here is nice and sharp and this edge right here is nice and sharp. And when you have a new piece of material, I cut a 5 16th hole right here and I position it right over and I slowly turn it and what happens is the rakes on this new uh, tap We'll actually remove the material and it'll flow out the uh, channels that we cut. Unfortunately, um, it's not as good as a store-bought one, so it takes a lot of time. And also, these channels, if you don't cut them wide enough, they get clogged real easily. Um, so you have to back it out a lot. Now, after you know a lot of patience, I was able to get this one done. And you can see the threads inside look pretty good. And just as a comparison, I'll show you... Uh, how well it still works on a um, stock rod. So, here's stock piece. So, we'll have a focus on it. And here's a piece that I made. And just by hand, I'm turning this in. <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty good. And you'll have to trust me, but. Just by feeling it, it has a lot less backlash than the original piece that I bought. So I'll probably make some uh, couplers for my CNC using this. So you can see, very, very, very easy to turn. And the best part, made it at home.